Mlaar Madhari. This video is about hormone replacement therapy or HRT. What is hormone replacement therapy? It is also known as menopausal hormone therapy or postmenopausal hormone therapy and that is the form of pharmacological treatment used to treat symptoms associated with female menopause. The different types of HRT include estrogen only HRT, combined estrogen plus progesterone and progesterone only HRT. What assessment should be done prior to starting HRT? We should take appropriate history, do relevant examination and investigation before starting HRT. The assessment in the form of the history should include first of all age and years since menopause. Current recommendations suggest that initiation of the menopausal HRT has least risk in the woman of less than 60 years of the age or less than 10 years after the menopausal onset. We should also assess the menopausal state and the symptoms. Check the contraindications of starting HRT, which include unexplained vaginal bleeding, active or recent arterial thromboembolic diseases, breast or endometrial cancer, active liver diseases or SLE. Now, exercise caution in the women with diabetes, hypertriglyceridemia, active gallbladder disease and migraine with the aura. Evaluate cardiovascular risk by asking about hypertension, diabetes, smoking, obesity and sedentary lifestyle. Evaluate the breast cancer risk and take family history of the cardiovascular disease, the VTE and the breast ovarian or the bowel cancer. Now, how to do examination before starting HRT? First of all, we need to check the BM of the patient, take the vitals, do appropriate complete general physical examination. The breast and the pelvic examination should be carried out if indicated by a personal or the family history. Now, what investigations should be done before starting HRT? Investigations like pap smear and mammogram are done as indicated in the national screening programs. Consider serum FSH levels if premature menopause is suspected. Thrombophilia screening in the woman with a personal or family history of the VTE. Endometrial assessment, especially in the woman with a sudden change in the menstrual pattern. What are the different regimens of menopausal hormone replacement therapy and how to choose the correct regimen? The HRT consists of estrogen, progesterone, selective estrogen receptor modulator, and androgens. Here we have regimes of estrogen and progesterone therapy. The regimes include estrogen only, cyclic sequential, cyclic combined, continuous sequential, continuous combined, and long cycle hormone therapy. The cyclic sequential therapy can be offered to a woman facing troublesome vasomotor symptom starting in the perimenopausal state. The continuous combined therapy or tibolone is used in the postmenopausal woman, means having amenorrhea for 12 months. Now, what combinations and doses of estrogen and progesterone are used? When we talk about estrogen alone or with progesterone therapy, we have standard dose. And the standard dose regime include first of all conjugated equine estrogen of 0.625 mg per day, micronized estradiol 1 mg per day, transdermal estradiol of 0.05 mg per day. This estrogen alone or with progestin therapy can be prescribed in a low dose as well. And the different regimes include conjugated equine estrogen of about 0.45 mg, micronized estradiol of 0.5 mg per day and transdermal estradiol of 0.5 0.025 mg per day. When this estrogen alone plus progestin therapy is in ultra low dose, the different regimes include first of all micronized estradiol of 0.25 mg per day and transdermal estradiol of 0.014 mg per day. The progestin therapy include first of all medroxyprogesterone acetate, micronized progesterone, norethindrone acetate, drospirinone and levonorgestrel. The cyclic regime is preferred in premenopause and perimenopausal age group, sequential HRT in any age group before age 60, and in postmenopausal age group, continuous combined or sequential HRT is preferred. The transdermal Easter diol patch comes in the different brands, which include combination of Easter diol and levonorgestrel or Easter diol and northendrone acetate combination and the dose is 50 microgram per 24 hours. 
The different routes of continuous combined therapy include first of all the oral route in the form of pills and tablets, the vaginal routes in the form of the creams, pastries and rings and the transdermal route include implants, patches, sprays and gels. Now what is expected bleeding pattern during HRT? The cyclic combined regime produces a regular and acceptable withdrawal bleeding after the end of progestogen phase, but the continuous combined therapy can have initial breakthrough bleeding, but it should induce amenorrhea within six months of therapy. What are the causative factors for unscheduled bleedings? Those include first of all forgotten pills, drug interaction, prolonged diarrhea, and other causes of the postmenopausal bleeding. How to do treatment of unscheduled bleeding on sequential HRT? In case of prolonged or heavy withdrawal bleeding, we need to increase the dose or change the type of progestogen or reduce the estrogen. In case of spotting before withdrawal, we need to increase the estrogen dose. How to do treatment of unscheduled bleeding on continuous combined HRT? In such case, lower estrogen dose preparations are preferred and increase the dose or change the type of progestogen as well. What are the indications to stop the HRT? We need to stop it about 4 to 6 weeks before elective surgery first of all. Stop it if jaundice appear or if there is significant rise in the blood pressure or if the patient develop the symptoms of migraine. What should be the maximum duration of HRT? There are a lot of debates about this topic but the ACOG recommends that routine discontinuation of HRT at the age of 65 years should be should not be there, but there should be careful consideration of individual health and benefits at all the ages. Now, when and how to stop HRT? There is insufficient evidence to recommend abrupt stopping or gradual tapering off uh, over time. Now, what are the newer preparations of HRT? First is that of the femistone. It is a combination of estradiol and diadrogesterone. This molecule has advantage of being more metabolically friendly. The other preparation is that of the conjugated equine estrogen with basidoxine. And different studies shows that the basidoxine protect the endometrium against the endometrial hyperplasia and carcinoma. Now, what is the on-benefit risk balance of HRT? HRT is very effective in treating vasomotor symptoms, urogenital symptoms, and prevention and treatment of osteoporosis. The risks associated with HRT include coronary heart diseases or the stroke, VTE, breast cancer, and ovarian cancer. But its role in ovarian cancer is still controversial if HRT increases the risk or not. Some studies show it increases the risk and others do not favor this phenomena. So thank you so much. That was all about hormone replacement therapy and its different preparations. Subscribe on Opsen Kaini. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Also write your questions in the comment sections of this video.